What is up guys, Gemini Jets 10 here and I am back with another airport update of Austin Zeppelin International Airport. Um, and before we start off, I just want to say two things. For one, the airport's changed again, and I know I've been changing the airport up a lot lately and then saying it'll be permanent, and then only post one video on it and end up changing it around again like two months later or something like that. But, I assure you that this one's going to be permanent and now that school is starting, um, when I see this when I come home from school every day, I'll be encouraged to make an airport update. So, I'm going to shoot for probably about maybe three-ish updates a month. Uh, I know that's a little, but I'm going to try different airports again. I'm probably going to bring back SMI. And, um, my brother is probably going to start posting on here soon, doing CUI. I have no idea if that's going to be here or not, but, um, yeah, let's get into this update. So, this is a 13 gate airport, it has two hangars, has some stands in the middle, and then a runway. Did I say that already? It's my third time trying to do this, guys, so third or fourth time, so bear with me. But, okay, let's get into this airport update. So, right here we have a KLM 747-400. He is sitting here at gate 13. He is getting food and passengers on board, getting ready to head out to Amsterdam Schiphol International Airport. He will be heading out there in about, oh, one and a half-ish hours. Pushing back here from gate 12, we have an Etihad Boeing 777-300ER. Beautiful, beautiful model. Uh, yeah, he's pushing back from gate 12, going to be taxiing and heading out to Abu Dhabi, uh, United Air Emirates. He is getting pushed back by... My sore excuse for a super tug. Gate 11 is empty. Here at gate 10, the A380 gate, we have quite a lot going on here, actually. We have the British Airways Airbus A380 getting loaded with my triple gate rig right there. It's got two gates on the bottom floor and one on the top. But this guy is getting loaded up with passengers. Uh, it's getting the crew on right there. And then around that corner there, he is getting food. Right here, sitting at gate 9, we have a Qantas Boeing 747-400 in the soccer room. He came in from Sydney, Australia about two-ish hours ago, and right now they are just making some last-minute preparations to begin boarding, uh, getting luggage on board, and all the stuff they need to head back out to Sydney, and they will be heading back out there in about two and a half hours. Right here, I'm actually going to move the camera, we have a Emirates Air, a Airbus A33200. This guy is getting food and passengers on board here at gate 8, getting ready to head out to Dubai United Arab Emirates. Gate 7 empty. Moving on to the domestic terminal. Here at gate 6, we have an Allegiant MD-83. He is heart standing. Um, he came in from Las Vegas, Nevada about three-ish hours ago. He offloaded, and he's going to head back out to Las Vegas tomorrow morning. So that's going to be... He's got, he's, gonna, he's got another 12 hours of heart standing ahead of him. Uh, this takes place in, like, the afternoon-ish hours, right around 4 or 5 o'clock, by the way. Right here at... Gate, what gate is this? Four. Um, right here at gate four, we have a Southwest Boeing 737-700 in the Canyon Blue beautiful model. Uh, he is loading up, getting ready to head out to New York LaGuardia. Um, what else? Uh, New York LaGuardia. And then on to Central Texas International Airport, or Gemini Jets 1975's airport. And then from there, he will be heading out to Denver International Airport, or Gemini Just 5280's airport. Right here, pulling into gate, we have a United Express ERJ-145. He's pulling into gate 3. Uh, this guy came in from Houston Intercontinental after coming over from Orlando. Um, yeah, after coming in from Orlando. Gates 2 and 1 are both empty. Then right here, uh, parked at kind of a cargo area. Let's move over there, kind of like that. 
I don't know if that's a better angle or not, but we have a UPS Boeing 747-400. He is getting uh, his crew off board, and he is getting his freight loaded off of the aircraft uh, through the rear door. This guy came in from Dubai, United Arab Emirates, about 15 minutes ago, and they have just began the offloading process. Moving on to taxiways. Right here, uh, pulling into, uh, getting ready to pull into gate one, we have an Aero Mexico Boeing 757-200. Uh, this guy came in from Mexico City, Mexico, and he's going to head back out there in about four or five hours after he's all turned around, so he won't depart until about 10 p.m. And then right here, being pulled into the wide body uh, American Airlines hangar. Both hangers here are American Airlines. That's wide body and that's narrow body. But, uh, yeah, being towed into the wide body hangar for routine maintenance, we have a American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. Very, very beautiful model. Love this bird. Sorry about that stutter, but... Uh, this guy came in from Paris, France about 12 hours ago uh, after going through a three-hour offloading process. She heart-standed for about nine hours, and now she's being towed into the hangar for routine maintenance. Uh, after the routine maintenance is done, which is going to take about a day, she's going to head back out to Paris, France. Right here, sitting in the narrow-body hangar, we have a American Airlines uh, MD-87. Uh, this guy came in from Los Angeles, let's say, and he, uh, after he came in, he came in about, let's say he came in about six hours ago, he offloaded for an hour and a half, then got towed here, and the maintenance is currently underway. He's going to head back out to Los Angeles in about four or five hours. focus. Right here, parked alongside the American Airlines narrowbody hangar, we have a Delta Boeing MD-90, I do believe is the model. MD-88, sorry, that's my fault. Uh, but this guy came in from Atlanta, Georgia about three hours ago. Uh, she offloaded and she's going to head back out to Atlanta in about two hours. They are getting ready to begin the loading process that will happen in about 30 minutes or so. And then right here, rotating off of runway 27, and I cut it at an angle so that I can maximize space on the airport, but rotating right here off of runway 27, we have a Southwest Boeing 737-500 in the New Mexico 1. Uh, I can't turn my flashlight off, darn it. Uh, but yeah, this guy is a Southwest Boeing 737-500 in the... New Mexico One Livery, and he is rotating off to Chicago Midway. And then the last but not least models are here at the stands. Uh, slash American Airlines gates. So, right here, standing, um, we have an Air China Boeing 747-400. Uh, this bird came in from Beijing about seven hours ago. Uh, had a three-hour offloading process, and it is heart-standing until tomorrow morning. At about 9 a.m., she'll be towed back to her gate. At 9.30, boarding preparations will start, and she'll head back out to Beijing around 11, 11.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's kind of a mixed number. <laughs> but right here, we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. Um, a lot happening. But this guy is getting passengers on board through dual air stairs over here on this side of the, on the, um, left side of the aircraft, sorry. And then over here on the right side, we have baggage and food being loaded on board. This guy is preparing for a flight out to Tokyo Norita. Uh, she's going to depart here in about 30 minutes. They are just doing some last minute things, and then she's going to be Right here, we have an American Airlines Airbus A319. She is heart standing uh, in between flights. She came in from Dallas, Fort Worth, after making a flight down from Chicago to Dallas. Um, and right now, she's just taking a little break. And in about 15 or so minutes, she will begin her boarding process. 
to head back out to Chicago. Right here we have an American Airlines MD-80, or MD-90 I do believe. I forget, I don't have a box for this model, but I should know it. It's an MD-90 I do believe, but um, she is getting baggage on board and passengers on board. She's going to be heading out to... Uh, this guy's going to be heading out to Seattle, Tacoma. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's going to be heading out to Se Seattle, Tacoma here in around half an hour after she finishes. Now, here we have an American Airlines 737-800. Uh, she is hard standing in between flights. She came in from... Sorry about that, guys, but she came in from New York Tri-State International Airport, or AS Aviation and Rail Fanning HD. Correct me down below because I haven't watched your channel in a few weeks and I forgot your name. I'm so sorry, but um, yeah, I do believe it's AS Aviation Rail Fanning HD. I'm going to go check that real quick. Sorry about that, guys, but the channel name, I had it 90% right, and I'm really sorry about this, man. Um, but it was AS, it's Avia, it's AS Aviation and Rail Productions 2016. Um, but yeah, this guy is going to be heading out to New York Tri-State International Airport, or AS Aviation and Rail Productions 2016's airport. And sorry about that little mess up. So that is going to conclude this airport update. Uh, sorry he's acting a little, I guess you could say, dumb, but uh, it's been a while since I've recorded an airport update, and I start school tomorrow, so wish me luck. I've got another year of fun ahead of me, but so I really hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, I will talk to you guys all later. Stay tuned for more videos. Drop a like, drop a subscription. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for the outrageous support lately, and leave a comment because I reply to most comments. Uh, I like to I like to chat with you guys and I like when you guys give me constructive cr criticism. Yay, but um <laughs> um yeah guys, stay tuned for more airport updates. I'm really sorry for the lack in videos lately. And now that I'm starting school, you would think that I would have less videos, but I'm going to have more. I'm mixed. But uh yeah, have a good day guys. Bye.